Hello, welcome back. I'm Patrick, and this is the second video in a series of three. And um, I'm using this. Uh, the first video talks about creating a red blood cell out of a sphere and texturing it with procedural textures and bumps. So this was the last render. So in this second video, we're going to do a construct the tunnel that serves as a blood vessel for the blood cells to flow along and then at the end we will create an, a camera that animates along that in the final video we will talk about um, populating the tunnel with uh, red blood cell particles so I'm gonna bring out my layer editor and rename this uh, blood Okay, and then I will hide it. Um, I'm going to do a slightly different method uh, for many people. So when it comes to creating a vessel or a tunnel, a lot of people will just use tubes or cylinders. But I'm going to use spline based because I can reuse use that spline later on for my camera path, for my particle flow uh, shape, okay, for a lot of things. And um, the best thing is uh, there's a live connection made between uh, the spline and the other things that we're going to move out of that so I can animate and change the shape of the path across time and everything including the geometry of the, uh, of the tunnel uh, the path of the camera everything will update together so just gonna click on a few vertices and spell out my line shape and I'm gonna call this uh, path Going into going to my vertices, right click, change all the vertex type to smooth. Right. So maybe that's a bit too much. I'm gonna make it a little bit more subtle and zero out my transforms so it stays in the center of the uh, in the origin. Okay. So uh, out of this, I'm going to use a loft which requires a path and a cross section. So I'm going to use uh, my front view, create a circle that is the cross section of the tunnel. And it looks like my path is oriented the wrong way, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm going to do a 90 degree rotate. Now with my path selected, I'm going to my uh, compound object. Start the loft, grab the shape, that's my cross section. So I have uh, tube going on so uh, I actually want an open tube so I'm going to take away the cap start and cap end so open tube the next thing I'm going to do is apply a noise modifier to make it more organic at this point I actually have two objects um, if I bring in my a list of the objects in the scene I have this law but I also have this Spline. So they are laying on top of each other. Select my spline. Okay, and go into vertex and fine tune the shape of my path. So this now looks a little bit too short, so I'm gonna lengthen that a bit. Okay, so some space for my camera to travel. And after I'm happy with this shape, I'm going to Hide my spline path. So select my left path. Uh, I'm going to create some undulating surfaces out of the, uh, those vertices. I'm going to use noise. Noise, like the shader uh, counterpart that we deal with in the first video, is really useful, even as a modifier. So that's like really roughed up. I'm going to use a turbo smooth to sort of smooth out and after that I'm going to use a shell to push out and give depth to my tunnel so that looks properly like uh, something organic so I'm going to apply some mapping so that it's uh, normally uh, properly mapped 
because later on we're going to do some materials. So go to my second free slot and again like the first uh, right what we did to the blood cells, we're going to do a uh, standard material and use the fall off, just apply it first. So the first color is going to be something a little bit more like flash and then that color is going to, I'm going to copy that color as a basic uh, base to start up with and make it a little bit brighter and so if I bring up my preview I can see sort of like two colors I'm gonna like what we did in the first video I'm going to do the mix curve and play with my contrast and then uh, I'm gonna do a render you can see sort of a lighter color lining up the, the edges I'm going to move the camera to a better position like what we're going to be looking at in the final animation okay. so that gives us like a kind of omnipresent lighting okay. so that's uh, I'm happy with that I'm going to carry on and do a bump map so bump then uh, instead of noise I'm going to do cellular okay, which looks sort of more organic I'm going to use explicit channel map since we already have a mapping, uh, a set of mapping coordinates. I'm going to set this guy to 2 and uh, try and render. So we try and render. Okay, and we get lots of detail. I'm going to go in for a closer look. Okay. Doesn't look bad, but it's too much I think so I'm gonna tone it down to just like six something I think it needs a little bit more red and even uh, I'm gonna tweak my colors and a little bit more dark okay, so there's some contrast on the sort of the rim lighting I'm not gonna do anything much more um, the next thing that we're going to do is actually uh, using back the same path I'm going to hide my loft for a while Incidentally, I'm going to select my loft and name it uh, Tunnel Geo And I'm going to create a free camera and a point helper Okay, I'm going to use this point helper and it will constrain path constraint and clicking on the original path spline so I get to pick the path that I'm going to constrain it to hit it and um, from max uh, 2013 I didn't notice uh, 2012 so uh, it's max has started to use frame 1 as the starting of all the animations I'm going to use frame 0 still okay and path constraint I'm going to turn on follow so 0 has a path key 100 has a key of 100 so across 100 frames okay, I think I'm going to be using maybe 200 frames this 100 frames is a little bit too short for any kind of uh, particle simulation so 200 okay so it's traveling down the path of 200 so on the first frame I'm gonna align my camera and also in my axis to the helper mode so and I'm going to turn on my angles now I go back into to looking down towards the path so 90 degree and 90 degrees so if I change one of the viewport to be looking through what the camera is seeing and uh, I'm hiding the tunnel geometry and now I hide my path spline ok so uh, my, cam my help is travelling through the the tunnel button my camera is not so I'm going to link my camera to that helper so now it's going to travel down I'm going to hit shift F to show my full screen and I'm going to move this up ok so I have a bigger view of the full frame from this view so that's what the camera is doing so the good thing about this setup, uh, uh, having this camera 
and then this uh, point helper is that uh, now I actually can individually animate the camera so while this point helper is faithfully following that path then my camera is still free to do an additional layer of animation on top so that's how we're going to set it up right that is um, so just um, but I just want to bring back my path spline okay and show you that actually uh, I have the flexibility of updating that path and the camera will still follow the updated path so you can see that uh, now I've updated my path to like a J and a shape okay and my camera will still follow along that path okay so I'm gonna undo that and keep my original shape so that's my what, what we're working up to at the end of the second video so um, stay tuned for the third video see you soon